Third down. Lost it. Ball. It's on the ground. And yeah, Purdue's got it. The Boilermakers have it. It's Danny Easy Tuku making it look easy. The young man from Lafonia, Georgia. He was the walrus. Kuku Kachu. He was in other direction, baby. And number eight did everything he possibly could to bring him down. A critical penalty as you're knocking on the door for a score to put up an early punch. It's amazing. I'm a little surprised they went to a back that hadn't toted it yet. They bring Jeremy Smith in, and he really never got it. There was a problem with the snap. Yeah, it, it really was. And again, you wonder whether or not Bell had something to do with that. When you're in these close quarters inside the red zone, those defenses are going to get really aggressive. So if you're pulling as a center or a guard, you're initially going to get pushed back. So you've got to be braced for it and ready to anchor yourself down. There's a lot of action going, and they're trying to sort it out on the sideline. Just a three-man rush. Looking long in the wow. corner again. Andrew, he's got it. Touchdown, Bowlermakers. Tim, that was a clearly a mix-up in the back end in coverage. And Peter Sermon and Mike Summers, the defensive coordinators, will have to take a look at this because, again, this ball was thrown exactly in that deep part of the corner where it needed to be to be able to make a play. And that was Clay Bowden back there in the back. Had a chance to defend it. Came up short. Busted assignment. Smith dotting the eye. He takes it. Stop. Nothing, Nothing doing. Ball is loose again. The Boilers have it at the 20. Wow. Marcus Bailey, number 21. Well, Grant Larceny at the one for <laughs> Purdue. Twice tonight it's happened. This drive's gone for over 70 yards. This is a big time drive for them. Worship remains in the backfield. It's third and goal. Flood the zone. They throw it for Worship. Love it. He's got it. He's got it. A remarkable play call. Really well devised. He just had to beat one guy. And here comes the praise after Worship gets in with the score. You can <laughs> see they've been pressuring, working on the outside. I've seen Brown make this throw several times across the field to the wide side. It doesn't matter who the personnel grouping is. That throw has been there, and his arm looks pretty darn good right now, Tim. Spencer Evans for the extra point. Bobby Petrino frustrated, but the Boilermaker fans are enjoying it, and why not? Halftime will get you now to Los Angeles. Let's go out of the eye. Play nice. for naked, and touchdown, Hopkins. have made their way out onto the field. Those bright, shiny Friday night lights helmets are ready to go. You better consult with the offensive quarter. Yeah. Fuller again. Boy, he popped that one, didn't he? Tario, oh, Tario. Long kicking duties. He's got a slight angle left from the right hash. Right through the uprights. Well done. Fuller goes out on the motion. Oh, touchdown, Hopkins! Oh, 
It was a good call. Here's Fuller. He's in. Touchdown. 11 carries, 103 yards for number 25 tonight. Blau remains the quarterback of the two quarterback system. And we took action here. Looking long and settling short. And it's Cole Herdman. And why not? The big tight end will get in. was some check down, Spencer. It was a check down, and Tim, from the side up here, what you could see was the set of the offensive line as if they were setting up. You could knew something. If it wasn't a run, that it was some type of play where they knew they had to show up protection. I knew they were up to something. Tight end goes down the field, does a nice job of getting open. On first down, Olet. He gets more yards on this carry than he had on the first nine, and now fumbles it. Well, he gets loose, and the Boilers have it. Open. Hello, how do there you do? Go. Touchdown, Mahondo! Knox remains in the backfield. That's Anthrop in motion, and he gets it. There's the freshman sensation, touchdown! One and one Missouri Tigers take on the one and one Purdue Boilermakers. It's the SEC versus the Big Ten, and it's right here on SEC Network. They want the big ones here, though, on the road. Wow. Escapes. To the end zone. Touchdown, Boilers. The extra point. The Boilermakers strike first in Columbia, Missouri. Up 7-0. First down for Purdue. It's Fuller, and look at him in the clear. Now in the end zone. Purdue rolling at the start. That's about yesterday. It was giving up the big play. It's called back by the receiver, Terry Wright. That is 14 first down. That's amazing. 13th play of the drive, and Worship is near the end zone. He's in. Worship followed his center, Kirk Barron, and the Boilers are pouring it on. He's making sure that he indeed crossed, and yeah, he's actually laying on a defender before he crossed over. Back there waiting on this Joe Shopper punt. He too has been terrific this year with a 49 yard average. Fielded at the 47 and dropped, ball loose. And it appears that Purdue has jumped on it near the 35-yard line. That wow. is Malcolm Dotson that dove on the football after the muff punt. That is demoralizing for this Missouri team. You finally get off the field. You have a big play and a sack by Garrett. And just unable to judge the football right there. And it may, be, may have been one of his own men who bumps into him. His own teammates bump bump into him. Looked like it was Adam Sparks, who uh, who cause helps to cause this fumble, and then all of a sudden. Meanwhile, Purdue's going to Elijah Sindelar. Started the first two games of the year, and he's got a wide open receiver in Cole Herdman streaking near the sideline in Mizzou territory. I call him a receiver. He does play the position of tight end, but he's been a favorite for both quarterbacks so far this year. Yeah, one of sophomore and Hopkins and the junior Herdman. They ran this play last week and watched him right here just out and straight up the seam and the play fake going to hold the linebackers. They take a false step up. That allows Herdman to get behind coverage and delivering the football right on time is Sindelar. Fifth there, Purdue's gotten some points every single time they've been in the red zone this season. They want seven, and they get it easily to Jackson Anthrop. 12. Zone. Lock. Goes to the sideline, and it's picked off. Telegraphs the interception. 
and it's Marcus Bailey with a flag down. This break them down on film. It is some Fuller and Worship in the backfield with Flau. Fakes, throws to Worship, easy walk in touchdown. UCF some time ago. To the end zone, Jamon Moore has it rustled away by Kamal Hardy, and he's going the other way. How about that effort by Hardy to give Purdue the football back? He can never relax, and I think Jamon Moore may have relaxed thinking that Hardy had given up on the play, and instead of it being a touchdown, Hardy comes away with a big-time interception. Purdue still up. 35-3 here in Cobalt. Okay, the Boilermaker victory on the road. 477 total yards of offense. And Jeff Brom in the honeymoon era in West Lafayette is showing what kind of football coach he is. Boilers with a tremendous performance on the road in Como today. Once again, our final. Okay, you got the Boilermaker statue out there. All right, you guys have seen the Boilermaker statue. You know what these fans like seeing? They like seeing people play their tails off every single play. Every single play. Blue collar, finding a way, stepping up to the plate, finding a way to get it down on every snap. And if you look at that out there, what does the Boilermaker do every single time? Okay, he hammers down. And then he hammers down. And he hammers down again. And then he hammers down. They say it was inside the 10. First and goal. Sindelar looks back across the field. Open man and a Purdue touchdown. That is Bryson Hopkins from Sindelar. Purdue shows blitz and brings it to land. O'Connor over the middle. And it is intercepted. Nevon Mosley with a pick. Purdue has it at the 26. Pressure coming. It's a screen. Perfect call for the defense, but they're able to recover momentarily. The ball comes out. A scramble for it. And who's going to get it? It's Stolos. Purdue says that they have it. Golden Gophers, but they're a big one. Blau to throw off play action, goes sideline, touchdown. And quite frankly, it could have been one of two receivers. Cole Herman, the tight end, is a very good receiving tight end. This has meant screen game for Purdue up to this point in time. Sindelar rolling the pocket, dumps it off for Knox. Upfield he goes, touchdown! DJ Knox! Jones on the run, cuts inside, touchdown Purdue! Rhoda, game on the line, intercepted Bentley! Jawan Bentley! on his way to a victory for Purdue. Touchdown! He missed the first half. He was saving it all up after the targeting penalty two weeks ago. And Bentley is a senior and has a lot of experience, and he's just staring down the quarterback. You can see him at the top of the screen, and he knows a route is coming in behind him. Squeeze it. If you're, the quarterback's eyes take you there, and the veteran, Bentley, does that, and then more importantly, he finishes the play, gets a ball in his hands, and then gets into the end zone. 
Barney Brook again with time, looking for the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by DeJuan Hunt, and Hunt with some running room and blockers. Into Badger territory, and DeJuan Hunt waiting deep. Pressure nice. Coming, and it's blocked by Hudson. Hudson with the block, and now the scoop. Stumbling down inside the 15-yard line. Garrett Hudson with the block, and Race Johnson racing into the red zone. Quintez Cephas early this season. They'll try to throw the inside screen, and it's taken away. Easy Chuku on the run. He's got to wait. Horny Brook, the last guy to get there, and he shoves him out inside the 30-yard line. He needed to be patient for Juwan Bentley to get there to make the block. He could still be running. There was two guys there who had an opportunity to be able to block him. Hornbrook, hey, that's a great job by Hornbrook, making the tackle. But if you're a defender, man, read your keys, keep your eyes open. You have a chance for six points. Watch this thing. He's going to bounce up in the air. Easy Chuku's right there on top of it, so he gets the pick. Now he's taking off and run. Now, he got the... All he had to do is slow down. Slow down just a tad and let... You get by with a little help from your friends. Somebody wrote that one time. That was very similar to the interception Chris Orr had that yeah. caromed off the Nebraska running back last week. He took it in for a touchdown. The best things in life, you got to earn. You got to earn it. So I want us to be able to go out there and earn it one play at a time. So before you leave this locker room, I want to look in your eye. No puppy dog look. I want to look in your eye that you're going to compete your ass off every single play. And you're going to find a way to get it done. Mm -hmm. Play after play after play after play. And you stick together and you play together. It's time to go earn a victory. So get locked in, get the look in your eye, and let's go, let's go out there and win the game. Let's go. Either way, beyond both of those, he was about six yards down. Feeling it's a fake. Go on the run as Shopper has got the first down. Oh, that's huge. The Shopmeister comes through when he had to. That's a gutsy call because they had a free guy, Kevin, coming off the right side or the left uh, defensive side. You're going to see him coming. Here he comes. He's just got to beat him. Now get your angle down. He ran right past it. Richie Worship was out there blocking. Another trick play for Purdue, and this one gets a big first down. That was a gutsy call. A little flea flicker fake. Knox on nice. the keep and Knox on the run. Nice move in the open field, a duck under, and knocks inside the 20-yard line. Kev, there we go with the trick play. The one of the other keys of the game that we talked about. And so Knox has got to do the old okey dope right here. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. And then he takes it. So what happened? They were to cover two. They split the middle. You get your drops. The middle of the field's wide open. Knox just runs right down the middle of the field. Wow. Floats it for Mahungu in the end zone, looking for a one-handed grab. Anthony Mahungu with the best catch of the day on a day in which drops were the story. He saved his best to last, Kevin. Did not have a stellar day, but this is a phenomenal catch. There's the control. The foot was down. He has control all the way through. Awesome effort. A one-arm touchdown grab with 25 seconds to go for Purdue. Timeout. Now you got to get two. That's a BTN standout with an exclamation point at the end of the hashtag. What a catch. Returned against Wisconsin. Still not 100%. And that time the flag comes against him. Sets Purdue up nicely. Worship straight ahead. Touchdown, Bakers. up the first just enough that's gonna keep it touchdown Purdue he faked the give to worship and Blau takes it himself the offense 
offense is struggling to move the football. This is an 86-yard drive capped by the run. Yeah, what a series right before the half. Scoring with 24 seconds. Blau went for three yards, second and seven. Looking to the right. He's got it to Antwerp. Antwerp stretches it across for the Purdue touchdown. One of my impact players right there. David Blau, he's fired up. The red shirt freshman, the local product, getting in and making it a two-score game. Yeah, all those blocks, it's balls caught behind the line of scrimmage. They can block downfield. Mahunga in motion. And here's the pitch. Left side is Knox hit, keeps his feet, and keeps on running. DJ Knox the five, touchdown Purdue. DJ would not be denied. That was all. DJ Knox originally stopped short of the first down, spun out of a tackle. They'll watch, he'll get, he gets popped near the first down marker right there. Stanley Green comes in, pops him, but nobody wraps him up and knocks it 5 7, 2 10 with the speed to take it to the house for six. So Roundtree hits him. Watch his left, his right leg, his right ankle gets folded under there, and I think that was the injury. Not so much the head-to-head. -head. All right, let's bring Dick Honig back in from Chicago, and you, you need indisputable video evidence to overturn what was ruled on the field. And based on, Dick, what we have seen, what you have seen, was there truly enough to overturn that call? No, that's, that, that's where I'm uh, concerned, is that I don't think there was enough to overturn that call. Uh, th there was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. He is a down player. His he knee was injured David Blau on third and short. Sindelar keeping, rolling now, throwing, end zone, caught, touchdown Hopkins, touchdown Purdue. Bergman, not Hopkins, 88, not 89. David Blau couldn't see it, but he could hear it. Little Jeff George Jr. Pressure coming. George throws, and that's intercepted by Thieleman. The turnover drought ends for Purdue. They had gone back-to-back -back games without one. They get one there. George picked off for the eighth time this season. Thieleman for the sack, and now a pick today. Jacob Thieneman just baited Jeff George into this. It looked like Thieneman was going to play the flat route on Dorsey, and then late he dropped back, and George never saw Thieneman as he stepped in front of Reeves for the pick. That's the same play that Kamal Hardy missed against Nebraska. You'll see George here. Pressure for Robinson is able to step up, though, and it was Thieneman who fell back in coverage against Caleb Reeves. Now watch this. You'll see... Thieneman looks like he's going to come up, and then he drops back late. George never sees him. It's picked off. Kamal Hardy dropped that pick twice against Nebraska. That's the play they told, they told said they had to execute. Different blocking scheme here for Purdue, and they're going to fake it. Joe Shopper, and he's got a man downfield inside the 30-yard line. This is a And great, it's Ben Makowski. Great play design. Worship and Knox together now in the backfield. Sindelar is going to play action. Throw into the end zone. Touchdown. Hit Jared Burgess on the run for 21 yards. Sindelar's pass is complete. That's a nice job filling in in the backup row. Caught at the four. Lunging for the pylon is Mahungo. Touchdown. And they got a backer on Knox. This is going to be interesting. And there it is. Looking that way. Sindelar going to run. Sindelar throwing for Knox, and Knox in the back of the end zone with the touchdown. And it was exactly what he was looking for. You get to that backside, you have an outside backer sitting on the tight end, and the inside backer has to take him. 
There's no one else because the safety was sitting on the other side. So Sinwar was very patient, stayed with it, used his feet, and then a nice adjust by Knox on the back of the end zone, and it's six quick. Well done. Can't have a much better start than that if you're Elijah Sindelar and Purdue. 16 play drive, their longest of the year. Trying to keep it tight, so this is what you're seeing the whole game. Taking a deep it. shot. Mahundo open. Touchdown. 42 yards, and Purdue takes the lead as Anthony Mahungu went right past Manny Ragumba for the touchdown. Three straight, Kev. Went after Ragumbo. Remember, they, they knew they had something, so he says, hey, I could get on top of them. Well, when you say it, you better do it. And Mahungo did a really nice job of getting on top of the coverage, and the ball was right where it had to be. Sindelar looking that direction, looking for Mahungo in the end zone. Mahungo's got it. It's a touchdown. And that is awesome. Sindlar would just drop a dime right there, boys. Mahungu ran a good route. The coverage wasn't bad. That ball had to be right in. Look at this throw. Look at the coverage. He's right on top of it. Turn your head. Now, he doesn't turn his head, but, yeah, he has control. His feet are in bounds. Mahungu, play number five in a row, is touchdown number two. Second down and 10 at the 29, Stanley to throw. Pressure coming, Stanley in trouble, and Stanley is sacked. T.J. McCollum went airborne to land on Nathan Stanley. Yeah, not, not a lot of people talk about McCollum. McCollum is a really good player, one of the best players I've watched in the Big Ten all season long. He's coming on a blitz, you can see him. Now, the guy he just ran over is a really good player. He just dropped, watch him drop his hips, and he just powers through him. That is a big-time play. 11th play of the drive, second and eight at the Purdue 44. Three-step drop over the middle. Hawkinson can't pull it in. Is it picked off? What a pick by Navon Mosley. Off the carom, Mosley with a circus grab to turn the Hawkeyes away. Somebody needed to make a play. Mosley was the guy. They tried to force that ball on the inside, and it's a nice, it's a tight throw, Kevin. I mean, it is a tight throw. They're going to get it back inside, but Mosley, wherewithal, pick, going the other way. A BTN standout to turn the Hawkeyes aside. Navon Mosley off the deflection. Morgan Ellison is the running back. They fake it to him, and Lego leads forward and has it picked off. Intercepted by Garrett Hudson, the middle linebacker for the injured Jawan Bentley. A return of 21 yards and a poor throw by Lego. That's a product of having the play called and ran all week. The first play of the game. This is what we're going to run. And the quarterback was going to throw this ball in the middle of the field. If you watch here, 16, Hudson reads him all the way. All the way, makes a good interception. You know, Luke Tenem Teneman has got to make sure he keeps bringing that route across the field. He cut it off a little short. That is the ninth interception by this Purdue defense. And they say... Oh. Quick end around for an easy touchdown. Anthrop unchallenged and goes five yards for the score. That was a quick, quick, quick and easy touchdown because it was deception. Just a quick handoff. The linebackers never even saw the receiver in motion. You could... And the touchdown off of it with no problem. The ball pulled with the wind at his back. And Timmy stands with six. It's a fake. And Chopper has a man wide open. Throws it down the middle. First down and more for Purdue. A tremendous play. And the punter throws a perfect strike to Gregory Phillips. Great call. Tony Levine, special teams coach, former head coach at Houston just a few years ago, coached in special teams and the pros. Deception, 
That was a perfect place to run it, but they ran it against safe defense, men, meaning that they actually thought that they might run a trick play here, might run a fake, and they still executed it. Speed sweep, touchdown. Antra, that's the second time they've run that play. This time he cut it inside and was unmolested to the end zone. One for one, throwing the football, and Anthrop says they ought to give it to me more often. Playing just as well as uh, Purdue. That ball is laid out, caught. That's going to be a touchdown for Mahungu. 49 yards. Didn't look like they were going to be able to complete it because Fant was right there. He's their best cover guy, but that. Mahungo just gives him a move at the line of scrimmage and out outruns him. Again, Fant is the number one corner that they have. Just alley-oop pass, throw it up, out jump him, catch it. Back shoulder pass or a jump pass, either one works against shorter defensive backs one-on-one. -on -one. Sindelar looked left, goes back to the right. Touchdown! A throw to Isaac Seco, his first touchdown catch of the year. This is all quarterback right here. He is supposed to go to the left side. There is nobody open. And he scrambles back to his right because he feels natural going that way. And Isaac Zico is wide open at first, but comes back to the ball and makes a good catch. Holidays, Rob, and welcome to the 2017 Foster Farms Bowl on Fox. Perfectly crisp night here for football with a temperature in the low 50s. And Purdue and Arizona ready to face off. Two good surprises this season. Aaron starters on it. They drop eight into coverage on third and ten. And Sindelar finds Gregory Phillips for a Purdue first down. Push out of bounds. In Defender right now by Jace Whitaker. Looking in his direction, and instead of going over the top, they throw the speed out. He makes a miss. He takes it to the end zone for the Purdue touchdown. The Boilermakers waste no time jumping in front here on the Foster Farms Bowl.
And this is all about timing and rhythm. Sindelar plants his back foot, the ball is out to the outside, and Mahungu makes a miss in the open field. Jeff Brown prefers his offense to be, but if he's there, if it's there, they'll take it. Cole Herdman back in the game with that sore hamstring, able to pull this one in, and then takes the fake on first and ten, and Sindelar scans the field, unloads downfield, what a catch! And the touchdown for Gregory Phillips! Paul Phillips working to the middle of the field. It's at Anthrop on the inside to take away the safety, and it allows the one-on-one. -on -one. And really, it's, it's going to be a question of whether or not he ended up getting in. It looks like it's clearly a catch, and as he... And it again. Markel Jones again with a much different result. First down, Purdue inside the 25. Over a gaping hole on the right side for 24. Will be the starting DF. Sindelar lets it fly. He's got another touchdown to Gregory Phillips. What a day the fifth-year seniors have it. No touchdowns in the regular season. Oilers and Titans. Looking to throw it back. He's got a wide-open Jackson Anthrop. Stays on his feet, and Schooler somehow recovers to tackle him on his second try. But it's a gain of 20 and a first down. It's two tonight. That's tough to prepare for. Sindelar steps up, creating extra time. Mahungo makes the reception of the 22. The native of France climbs the ladder for 35 yards and a Purdue first down. And this is all possible because of how Elijah Sindelar works the pocket. Watch him step up, gathers himself, keeps his eyes downfield, and gives Mahungo. DJ Knox cuts it back. He's in for the Purdue touchdown. Everybody getting involved. Knox in from 13. That's a Purdue sent to get it to begin the second half. He's got room off the left side. Khalil Tate has a first down inside the 35. The Purdue players were shouting that they should have it. And Tate's not down. He's obviously on top of his own player. Haven't seen an elbow or knee or... Wow. And then is Navon Mosley. Trying to rip it away. He's under further review. After review, the runner was not down prior to the ball coming loose. It'll be first down Purdue. Yeah, what are we doing with the, going to a kneel down 56 seconds? And you bet it is a trick play. They hand it off to DJ Knox. He gets a first down and more. They fake the kneel down and run for 41 yards. Still behind the offensive lineman and Sindelar kind of almost makes it look like it's a sprint out. And then it's student body left for the tight ends and Markel Jones running downfield. Of course they want to win this one and try to go out in the right way. Sindelar zips one for a first down to Bryson Hopkins in Arizona. Oh, oh. And ten. Arizona drops seven into coverage. They're still able to flush him. He checks it down. Knox slips a tackle and gets a first down. D.J. Knox, one of the biggest plays of the night for the Boilermakers. Arizona bringing pressure again. This time it's picked up into one-on-one. -on -one. Mahungu makes the catch and fights in for the Purdue touchdown. When there's nothing there, third down and long. He tries to do just that. Lofts it into the arms of Jacob Thieneman for an interception. Brown had come open, Tate just missed him. And with a minute 16 left, the Boilers take it. Field position or a lot of time. Yeah, even if they do get it. Knox bounces off the line of scrimmage. And this could seal the deal. First down into Arizona territory. And so that'll do it. They douse Jeff Brown. And they finish Jeff Brown's first season as head coach. With a win in the Foster Farms Bowl, 38-35 over Arizona.